Hey guys, Shane Starts with Droid Modder X. Today I'm going to show you guys the quickest and easiest way to install Android Lollipop 5.0. There is now, it's not the official build, it's still a preview build, but a lot of things have changed. This has the most up-to-date uh, version of the material design that we have seen, plus it has lots of awesome new features. Uh, this is the version of Android that was released with the new 5.0 SDK. And it's available for the Nexus 7 and Nexus 5. I'll be sure to include links in the description where you can download the file. Uh, but then again, you could use this method and you don't have to worry about going and downloading the file because it's included in the Wokefresh Nexus Root Toolkit. Um, that's one thing that I love about the toolkit is that everything is nice and convenient. You don't have to go searching the web for everything that you need. So on the device itself, we'll go into the app drawer. Settings. Go down to About Tablet. Go to build number and click on that eight times until it says you are a developer. Go to developer options. Turn those on and check USB debugging. Then we'll go ahead and plug in our USB cable. When it asks if you want to allow access to the PC, I check always allow access to this PC and then check OK. So we'll set this to the side for now. OK, so I'll include a link right underneath the subscribe button there in the description to where you can download the Nexus Root Toolkit. It has been updated to version 1.8.9, and the awesome thing about that is that there's now support for Android 5.0 Lollipop, or the version that was released today. So we'll go into where it says Change, and make sure that you have the right device selected. Um, I'm on the Nexus 7 2013 Edition Wi-Fi, and I will select my build, which is currently 4.4.4. But you guys can see that there is now support for 5.0.0 uh, right there. So we'll go back to 4.4.4. You can also auto detect your device and build. We'll go ahead and apply. Okay, so the next thing you'll want to do here is flash stock and unroot. You can easily root it later if you want to root it again. So right now, the device is on and it's normal. If it were bricked, you can actually use this to unbrick. Uh, so you would actually just unbrick. But we'll go ahead and flash stock and unroot. Your device must be unlocked first. Uh, as you guys can see, there is a button here to unlock your device. So you want to make sure that you do that first. Okay, when when you're finished unlocking the bootloader, we'll go ahead and press OK. Okay, and then we will select the build that we want to download. It's going to be Android 5.0.0. Okay, and then we will select automatically download and extract the factory image selected above for me and select OK. And we'll give it a few minutes. It says this build is LPX13D Android LP is a developer preview edition. So there may be some bugs. This is not official. That doesn't come out until November 3rd, I believe. But for now, we have the developer preview. This is a much improved version of Android L or Lollipop than what we saw back in August. So it's definitely worth flashing and checking out. So we'll go ahead and select OK. Okay, you'll see the download status bar here. We'll give it a few minutes to download. Then we'll come back to it when it's finished. Okay, so once it is completely downloaded, it should automatically initiate the flash. And the cool thing about this toolkit is that it does kind of tell you exactly what it's doing as it does everything. Of course, you don't have to do anything at all except watch it do its thing, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now it's rebooting the device into bootloader mode. Okay, it flashing stock will factory reset your device. Make sure to back up any important data first while it's flashing stock. Please be patient. Also, please disregard any message about SIG files missing. We'll go ahead and select OK. Okay, it should automatically pop up the box where it is doing the flashing and just kind of let it do its thing. Do not unplug the device. Okay, so when it's finished, it says press any key to continue. We'll go ahead and press any key to continue. So factory package finished was detected as different from what you were previously running. So it kind of automatically uh, notices these things and asks you if you want to change your version. So your version over here in the toolkit, we'll go ahead and select OK. It'll do that automatically. Hit apply. And then it tells you once again how to enable USB debugging. Sometimes it is possible that flashing stock will cause your device to incorrectly display your available internal storage to fix this. 
Just be sure everything is good. It is recommended to perform a factory reset now on your device. Open the settings menu, then go to backup and reset, factory data reset, reset your phone, erase everything. Okay, so when it is finished flashing, it will reboot your device. It's going to take a while because it has wiped all the data on your device and it's booting into Android for the first time, so just kind of let it do its thing. So guys, that about wraps it up for the one-click easy uh, toolkit method, WordPress toolkit method of installing Android Lollipop 5.0 on the Nexus 7, Nexus 5. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.